a leftover adaptation tool from the days that humans were hunter-gatherers. That's the gist of a new study. Jared Reeser, a brain science researcher and doctoral candidate at the USC Psych Department, fills us in on that theory. A few years ago, I had an intuition that the autism spectrum may represent an environmental adaptation and not a disease. So when I found out there was already all this good research pointing to high ability in autism, I was relieved I didn't have to try and show this on my own. My research looks at ability in autism and attempts to understand how these individuals would have gotten along in the prehistoric past. Basically, Mike, I do two things. Um, first, I try to understand how autistic symptoms of obsessive, repetitive, and systemizing behaviors would have helped a solitary forager. And second, I draw parallels between autistic individuals and other known solitary foragers. Well, what did you find? So I argued that obsessive and repetitive behaviors would have helped solitary foragers to do what they do. Things like tracking animals, finding and picking fruit and vegetables, uh, scouting new areas, <coughs> and scanning for threats and things to scavenge. Um, many people with autism show huge knowledge about subjects that they're interested in, right? Today, they seem to know about airplanes and geography, Star Trek, these kind of things. I think that would have been most interesting to them in prehistoric times, though, would have been food. So they would have used their intelligence and their systemizing abilities to procure food. Now, how would this uh, linger over into modern times and be an environmental situation as opposed to an actual malady? The idea is that these genes would have been selected mm. in prehistoric times and that people with autism may have done well, but only in certain environments. So environments where they... Um, where uh, social contact was attenuated or group size was, was particularly small. Break it down, it's, Michael. It's, it's fascinating. Uh, basically saying that uh, autism had a role in the early days, uh, a, a limited <clears throat> role, apparently, where hunter-gatherers would be focused on just using their uh, motor skills or whatever they're, they're into, and they would have been great hunter-gatherers, okay. but they wouldn't be necessarily great in a social setting okay they're saying that it, it, they it's, could survive it's evidence that it wasn't necessarily a, a, a malady like i was saying right. or a disease that it actually may be something that was selected in their dna mm. all I right know. i know it's just a theory okay but it sure was interesting they're saying we need to look at uh people with autism as not broken right that's what we're looking at okay news time 536 hey guys when you have cancer